Good morning, this is Constance from Mrs T Weddings. I am going to be joined today by a venue, so that's very exciting, we haven't had a venue yet I don't think, um, from with Karen who works at Stratton Court Barn in Oxfordshire. Absolutely gorgeous location, now I'm just going to invite her on. She is at the barn at the moment in the absolute freezing cold. Um, um, but she should be there any minute now, hoping the Wi-Fi holds out for us at the barn. So there she is. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Are you absolutely freezing? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I couldn't take the scarf off. I was like, no, at least keep it up. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. I'm so sorry. Well, thank you for the dedication to the live. This means so That's much. <laughs> Um, we were just messaging each other before and Gareth said, we keep this really short because I'm so cold. And it's something else a bit on for yonks. <laughs> it will come on in December though, now that we know that we can do weddings again in December. So it will come on again in December. So a few yeah. more days. Right it's now, it's the cold. repercussions of a lockdown. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today. So first of all, tell us a little bit about Stratton Court Barn, where you're based, what, um, you know, what you're about, what your capacity is, things like that, just so we get a bit of an understanding. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're obviously North Oxfordshire, so yeah. quite convenient um, because we're right on the border, Northamptonshire, Buckinghamshire, and obviously Oxfordshire. So, yeah. and really nicely, only just 10 minutes from Bristol. So really a good location, really easy to get to. But once you're here, it feels yeah. like you're really in the middle of nowhere, which is lovely. It does. So it you away a little bit from that everyday bustle, if you like. So you're yeah, really so you're probably perfect. like, what, like 10, 15 minutes from the Bista train station. That's right, that's right. It's but when you're there, literally, you feel like you're in the middle of the Cotswolds, nothing, that's you can't right. hear anything, right? No, that's it. And it's really, really lovely. So it really takes you away. And you kind of really get that country feel, which yeah. is lovely. Um, so it's we welly, have... it's welly area, isn't it? Definitely welly area. And if I, if you look down, <laughs> there we <Yeah>. go. Yes. <laughs> As if we planned it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's like our um, our uniform here. I have to have welly on. <laughs> but um, so we on on, a, on any kind of normal wedding yeah. day, if you like, uh, in terms of capacity, so we can seat. Up to 80 people right. for a ceremony and a sit-down meal yeah. if you wanted to have the traditional long top table. Yeah. Um, some couples are a bit like, no, we don't, we don't want the formality of that. We can sit on a round table, you yeah. know, it's quite social, isn't it? So then we can seat, seat 90. So both for a ceremony and a sit-down meal. Uh, in terms of the evening, though, we're, we're all about big party. So <laughs> yes. we have up to 150 at night. Amazing. Uh, so good big party. It's just that because the barn is like divided into to um, essentially two rooms that are yeah. connected. Um, it means that obviously for your meal, you normally want to have everybody in the same room at the same time, which is obviously limits us to the, to the 80. Mm -hmm. uh, but at night, obviously it's a big old space. So having yeah. is really good. Brilliant. And tell me, so one of the things that got me onto your radar initially was your catering option is quite yes. flexible, isn't it? Yes, so we have got six approved caterers to choose Which is amazing. From. Yeah, it's, it's really good. And also what I find is really important for us is that they're not like all doing the same thing. Yeah. Um, different styles of food. Uh, also, I think quite importantly to talk about catering to different budgets because yeah. not everybody wants to spend the same amount on food. You know, some yeah. people want to prioritize entertainment. And exactly. And flowers and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah. so six different caterers, um, all doing amazing things. Um, from afternoon tea, ranging to the full on formal sit down. Yeah. Um, so, so it's yeah. really, that's the thing that I think, you know, it's really attractive about your space is it's really flexible in yes. that, you know, whatever type of wedding you want, it's a blank canvas in that sense in that people can really make it their own, right? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and that we encourage it as well. Yeah. Um, what, what do you, <laughs> you want personality? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, and then we we do tailor around that, which is great. Yeah. Brilliant. And um, so you've got the two sides of the bun. Now we were going to go for a little walk around, but the Wi-Fi probably isn't quite strong. Yeah, enough. the Wi-Fi. I can s sort of see if I can do a bit of a so you can see. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, it's all set up as well. Fabulous. Yeah, so. Set up for ceremony at the moment yeah. um, uh, for about 60. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm stood in the main entrance. so Which, which I is, love. I want yes. that to be my home, basically. Yes, it is so gorgeous, <laughs> isn't it? And I know it, like, you perhaps can't like, get the feel of it. And it is quite big and wide here. But yeah. it's super cosy. 
Um, and then through here is obviously our bar area. Oh, look so, at it with all the fairy lights. Yeah, so with all the fairy lights and the little lights around the side. And obviously Brilliant. the bar is here. And if I step through, maybe see lots and lots hey. of <laughs> Desperate for somebody to come and have a drink. <laughs> honestly so hopefully that gives shows you a little bit and if i go back actually over here yeah through the gray door just yeah. over there that leads through to the stables which is like an additional lounge space and then yeah. upstairs is the, a wedding preparation room as well so yeah so it's a kind of bridal prep area and that is that, beautifully yeah you've got, i mean it's been everything's been done up to really high standards and it's really you know it really took me you know my breath away at how beautiful it was when i came and saw you um because it is that attention so to lovely. detail that yeah. there's somebody that understands interiors that's played around with this um but that yeah. bridal <laughs> suite is gorgeous and it's it's big enough that you can really get quite a few people in there when we're allowed more people yeah. but also it's yeah. intimate enough because it's got the low ceiling hasn't the it low ceiling. Things, still got the beams, all yeah. of that, it's cosy. Uh, obviously, lots of, um, you know, got the armchairs, the sofa, and so on. Perfect photo opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when, and then outside you've got the most beautiful grounds. Yes, yes. And getting better again. Obviously, <laughs> the lovely thing, oh, I'm so spoilt working here because the owner is just constantly putting more and more effort into what the what surrounding looks like. So, yeah. so you've got the courtyard out the front, which is brilliant. Um, yeah. It's such a good space for socializing. So for drinks, um, yeah. obviously after the ceremony and yeah. in the evening and fire pit and all of that. Uh, but also the color And that's space. important. Like they're allowed fire pits yeah. and yeah. they're yeah. allowed to actually use the space. Because sometimes yes. it's quite restrictive what you can do outside. Yeah. But no, especially no. you've probably got livestock quite nearby, haven't you? Yeah, we do, we do. Yeah. Which is why we say no fireworks, unfortunately, yeah. for that reason. But because of all the livestock but yeah. in terms of but in terms of obviously our guests using it absolutely go um, out there and use it. the courtyard and you've got the the reception lawn uh, yeah. and the rose garden which is quite formal um yeah. but then you've also now got the lake which is yeah. exciting. wow beautiful. <laughs> i don't think the lake existed when i is that a lockdown no, project so that, they started on that in spring this is spring this year spring okay. 2020 so obviously it was meant to be kind of finished so that obviously this the summer, summer. <laughs> <laughs> could use it. now it would be next summer but maybe that's a good thing or next year. it's just because obviously with the trees and so on yeah. they'll be a lot more established and so yeah on. it'll feel a lot more kind of settled and ready yeah. to have some gorgeous photos next to it i'm that's sure it. that's it brilliant okay fabulous so i think you know we can all see it. it's a gorgeous barn it's got it's high-end barn it's not rough and ready it's no, you know, it's, no but it's flat, it's you know you've got heating warm. which usually is on um but also you've got big doors so people can open them up yeah. and you know you've got the flexibility of the space the photo i posted yesterday with the courtyard so you've got a real mix and it's got a gorgeous long drive as well so yeah. it's got the kind of glamour of that yeah. as well so, and yes, and, and that's you're, you're spot on there in terms of we're not like an oldie, what, what the owners always say, we're not an oldie worldie bar. They say. Exactly. <laughs> we're more contemporary than that. Yeah, so, yes. you are exactly. But it's still blank canvas enough that yeah. couples can come in and make it their own. Yeah. Um, and so obviously, you know, ordinarily you're working up to about 80, 90 people. At the moment, I know that you've done some micro weddings. Yeah. And, um, you know, I the first thing I thought when I came to the barn was it's a brilliant space that can be adapted for yes. a smaller audience, you know, for a smaller guest list. Um, and that was pre as knowing anything about what was about to happen to our world. <laughs> Happen, yeah. That was when we were still happy and didn't have huge bags under our eyes, <laughs> pulling our hair out with what are we going to do with our lives. Um, but at that point, life was very positive. But it, it immediately struck me that it was a great, great place to have these really intimate weddings, um, yeah. which have always been a thing. It's just now they're a bigger thing, clearly. Um, so tell us a little bit about how Stratton Court Barn lends itself to that. What do you do for the micro weddings and things? Yes. So what's well, the it? How it works is that we use the space very much in the same way as we would for, uh, yeah. dare I say, it, a normal wedding. Yeah, um, <laughs> a bigger wedding. <laughs> as much and as normal as any other type of wedding. But even so we use the same the barn in the same way. So yeah. we would start off with a ceremony in the main barn that you just saw mm -hmm. set up, or outside, if if the couple wanted to. Um, and then and you're licensed, aren't you? Yes, for yes, weddings. indeed, yeah. absolutely. So proper civil ceremonies, so the legal yeah. side can happen here on the day if they want it. Yeah. 
Um, and then we'd go through from the main barn through to the yeah. bar area, unless we're talking summer, which of course we'd be outside. Yeah. At the moment, obviously encouraged to be seated. Yeah. So rather than modern mingling. Um, but we do that really quite nicely because we've got, you know, the cocktail tables. Yeah. So we'd be like a little station for each little household. Uh, we can have like canapes and stuff yeah. on each station as well. So oh, it's really lending itself to that um kind of wedding celebrational kind of feel um while yeah. again we do the turnaround of the main barn so for yeah. the micro weddings we've really we've moved away mostly from doing round tables or smaller tables yeah. doing the one long table down the middle yeah. and this is what's so fantastic about our barn we are not too big yeah so with that one long table down the middle you fill the entire barn yeah <laughs> around and that I think yeah. is great because it can lend really lends up to that really wonderful intimate feel yeah. which is exactly what we want from these micro weddings because they yeah. are special they are intimate and what we don't want to is for people to feel kind of cold and yeah and, and in that kind of void of a huge space yeah. and rattling around yeah um but I think you know one way I've been phrasing it to couples is you know this is the best dinner party of your life yeah. and you know yeah. if you do one <laughs> big table it does have that feeling rather than lots yeah. of different ones and I think you know that's where barns really come into their own and being able to play with that space in that way indeed, indeed. and look normal absolutely. and not look a bit out of place it actually looks like yeah. a, just a big banquet table yeah absolutely and it yeah. does and it works so well and it lo looks so good <laughs> oh <laughs> yay and you know and obviously it's, it's you know you seen it all over Instagram for years now the best table shots yeah. from the photographer you know the best angles it's just so good yeah. um, obviously you can dress it even more particularly now yeah. in winter with the exactly. fairy lights and the ceiling or down the sides and drapes and so on to really kind of if you want to go all out on the, yeah. on the camera um, but even just dress simply it still looks stunning so and that's really important is that you know also another thing is that a lot of barns don't let you decorate you know and don't let you put things up like fairy lights and drapes yeah. and things but you let people oh, get lights. involved <laughs> you're like do it come on <laughs> do it do it do it i mean there are so many good um event companies out there that can create yeah. so much i mean i don't know do you, you work with that event company don't you yeah Something yeah like i know them good. yeah yeah like, yeah event hire they were great and they do amazing things so you should have definitely like utilize the people out there yeah. um and uh and then in terms of after now what we can do is, again, we obviously we were talking to the couples here. Yeah. This is not like set in stone. But mm -hmm. um, if they wanted to, you can like move back into the bar area. So it's more like yeah. a lounge kind of feel at night. Yeah. Um, uh, or we can obviously stay at the tables, obviously mm -hmm. speeches, uh, cutting up the cake. Uh, if they want, if my couple want to do first dance, we can do that. So yeah. again, all the all the important elements yeah. are still there very much. And again, yeah that we're using the barn to its best ability um, yeah. to make it really special and really intimate and really lovely. Absolutely. Um, in terms of the, um, in the evening, and obviously now at the moment, we're not allowed yeah. like, dancing, dancing. We have yeah. some awesome quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. to another level. Yeah, to another <laughs> level, to another level. And the other day we had him on, I was seeing them back in October, it feels like the other day. Uh, we had him <laughs> on like um, a different, um, like proper job, like Zoom, Zoom quiz in different categories and everything. Love that. Brilliant. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Fabio, oh, I love how you're thinking about this in a different way, rather than being, you know, rather than saying, and I think this is a really important message, you know, rather than saying what you can't do, it's what you can do. Yeah, and absolutely. it's about, you know, so all right, things aren't the way they used to be, but what can we do right now? And let's make it even more special because it's going to be different and unique and wonderful. Yes, yes, indeed. And actually, I've just seen that one of my couples from, can I just say that? <laughs> one, of my, one of my couples from, um, for to have their wedding just the day before lockdown. It's just oh. us. Yeah. Wow, oh, congratulations. <laughs> they, they, their, their story is amazing because they um, they were due to get, they always postponed, they were due to get married in November. Yeah. And then lockdown was announced and they were like, stuff this. <laughs> we need to just <laughs> get, get married. married. And we managed to, um, so the no mean feat for, for them because they, mm. they did so much work in those few days and brought yeah. everything forward to the day before 
um yeah. the lockdown so yeah wow it, it was the most incredible incredible wedding so yeah oh so well go out with a bang before lockdown yes yes, yes. Oh, i'm so pleased they managed to get it in in time and i'm so <laughs> you know i i'm so hopeful what tier are you too yes yeah, so you can Correct. go ahead with weddings now yeah. again so yeah we got, we got now in december we've got more micro weddings coming up have you so yeah i think it's you know it's a difficult time isn't it you know everyone in different tiers now so we're not on the same page about who can do what with weddings um but you know for the, most of the country in tier two you know at least they yeah. can go ahead again now and thankfully yeah. it's staying at the 15 they haven't changed that you know from no. for me from a marketing yeah. perspective and sweet 15 very pleased it stayed at 15 yeah. <laughs> but for couples you know hopefully this is a sign that things are going to start building up again absolutely and i mean I'm feeling quite positive. Yeah. But even if it stays at 15, I think the 15, the rules that they got in place now are good. Yeah. In a way that 15 plus professionals. Exactly. We had it before with 30, including professionals. That was Which was hard. tough. Really I think that was worse than it is much now. Worse. Yeah. <laughs> much worse. Yeah. Exactly. Like yeah. No, I think it's really good. So talk us through, uh, you know, a current, you know, socially restricted wedding or COVID wedding whatever we're going to call it. Um, how does it work with things like sanitizers, um, yes. social distancing, face masks, all of those kind of things? Yes. So how it works is uh, on arrival, obviously we have like a little station. Yeah. Um, obviously for the track and trace purposes as well, it's quite good. We have yeah. to like stop people. We have to do the track and trace. We have to, obviously we ask people to, to do the hand sanitizing station before they come in. I yeah. try to kind of take care of those practicalities before they step through the door. Perfect. So once they're through the door, this is where the magic starts. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, enjoy. Take care of all the boring stuff outside and yeah. then they come through. We have got a little bit of a, so again, the guidelines have been changing constantly. Yeah. At the moment, they got this thing where the couple have to see the registrar in the ceremony room for the pre-ceremony interviews. Right. So that does mean that I can't, get guests in before the ceremony like we would normally do yeah. uh, to sort of say hello and mingle and chat and so on beforehand because then they would see yeah. one of the couples as a perhaps a bride or whatever yeah. we, you know, we don't want to be seen beforehand. So um, therefore guests have to stay outside. But once the pre-ceremony interviews are done, yeah. that's fine because I can get people in the right position and yeah. people can come in. So at that point in time, yes, guests have to wear their masks for yeah. the ceremony have to wear the mask obviously guests are seated in their households obviously i get all that information beforehand from the perfect couple. yeah and so we can set it all up nicely yeah. um and then we get people through to be seated like normal and then we can have an entrance like normal and Great. all the music all of that yeah um, readings can't take place at the moment but that might change yeah. Yeah. Um, and then um, we have our big exit, like normal as well. Oh, now from amazing. there, like I said, mentioned earlier, we can go so do drinks. Um, and also this is of course the most important time for photos. But yeah. drinks then again, we're staying in, uh, guests are staying in their bubbles. So yeah. we have like a little, we have a table or a little station per, you know, per household. We yeah. have little name cards and kind of make it really sweet. Yeah. Um, and it's just that part that we kind of, we do have to encourage people not to be mixed. Too close. Yeah. <laughs> too close. But exactly. masks too can come off because they're seated. Masks can come off. Like in a restaurant, exactly right? Exactly that. So you're then yeah. now consuming food and drinks and the mask can come off. So yeah. really, from that point onwards, when you step out from the ceremony, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. Yeah. Just um, to go to the loo? Would that be it? No. no. We don't, we just leave, let them take That's them it. off. That's it. They're, yeah. they're done. Brilliant. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that makes a big difference for photos and for things like that. It if, does. You know. And obviously, I do get couples who have like seen all these photos with, with couples uh, with yeah. masks on and they're like, oh, God, we, we want to see our faces in our wedding photos. So I'm like, no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> COVID kind of showing the time is not. You don't yeah. have to wear your mask for your photos. Don't exactly. Worry. I think there is a fear factor, isn't there? Because it is it's a such factor. a kind uh, of... It's a bit like, no, no, this is yeah. not literal. This is like, when it's exactly. just the two of you, your photographer's working with amazing lenses. You yeah. absolutely take your masks off. And uh, all the so suppliers, nice. like hair and makeup, when, you know, they're allowed to start again. And yep. photographers, they'll wear the appropriate PPA like, to make sure that they're we... being safe. And, you know, the bride and groom don't need to worry about that. That's down to the responsibility of the supplier, right? Yeah. 
The bride and groom don't have to wear a mask at any point during the wedding. Yeah. They don't Amazing. have to wear masks for the ceremony either. Um, yeah. Because the registrars have to see their words being spoken clearly. So, um, Very good. Then uh, in terms of, obviously, then I said we're going through to be seated. Now, again, yeah. with the long table, it's wonderful. Because even though we're seating people in households, so we see people in the same household sit opposite each other. Yeah. There's a gap. <laughs> There's a gap. One meter plus. <laughs> and then the next one. And I think that's really nice if we have the couple still sat next to each other. Yeah. Kind of facing out. So everybody sees them. Yeah. And they can see all their guests. Um, and they're sat together because it's yeah. their wedding day. <laughs> Absolutely. They should be together. <laughs> they should be like on opposite same side of the table. So they're together. Um, and then um, uh, and in terms of the food, again, because we're following the same, obviously, rules and, and, yeah. and regulations as uh, any other restaurant, bar, uh, hospitality. Um, yeah. out there. So we, we serve to the table. Yeah. And, was what's encouraged we can all still do the sharing style food wow within households okay so obviously then only people in the same household can share but we yeah. can still if you want that feel we can still do it so yeah. so you can have a whole beef wellington between two of you i mean it could be amazing <laughs> <laughs> my husband would be very happy with that situation <laughs> He does not like sharing. Um, no, I know, though, I know. I'm a bit the same. So, um, <laughs> um, Psycho about food. Like, exactly, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm all about food. But anyway. And then, uh, and obviously speeches can take place afterwards. Um, yeah. Like, um, like we would normally expect. Yeah. And these speeches, I have to say, that I've had oh. already. Oh my gosh, I've been in bits. <laughs> so emotional you know so i'm like outside the room and i'm like oh my god yeah. <laughs> i think that's the thing these are the most in the intimate for a reason yeah they're so oh, special and romantic yes. these weddings yes. so special yeah and oh my goodness me the emotion yeah so, yeah I've, I've been a bit broken <laughs> <laughs> really i love good. that so romantic yes and then in terms of the cake it, like so what um because obviously it's not uh, normally we'd you know, cut the cake and they sort of have it like serve sort of evening yeah. style food and kind of you know people helping themselves but actually again because we can't do the whole hey help everybody dig your hands into this yeah <laughs> exactly um, so it's about cutting it and actually serving yeah. it plates yeah. but again that's easy isn't it it's, yeah. it's really, really lovely and also I, I'm, I feel like sometimes you know when it's been like really really beautiful cake and everybody's too full up and just not feeling it Right, this is the perfect opportunity because I'm literally there going, eat the cake. <laughs> <laughs> eat the cake. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm eating the cake. <laughs> so everybody will definitely eat the cake. <laughs> no hesitation there. <laughs> um, Amazing. So, so again, and then... Um, the first dance, we can still yeah. do the first dance. Yeah, and I think that's, that's, our, that's the one and only dance. Yes, exactly, the one and only dance. But, and actually some of my couples, and I think this is really quite nice, uh, yeah. are using it as a, as a last dance, does that make sense, to kind of yeah. wrap up um, the day. or the That's evening, really cute. Um, to, to kind of finish on that um, first slash last dance. Yeah. And then like a sparkler send off, something like that to kind of Brilliant. wrap up the day. Because yeah. normally, you know, instead of the whole kind of everybody, you know, the DJs shut yeah. down and everybody's in a big sweaty mess and yeah. on the, the taxi is, you know, it's, it's not a lot less time. sweat at yeah. weddings nowadays. <laughs> it's not it's not that kind of wedding. So um, so I think that's a really nice way of rounding it off. But again, it's completely up to yeah. teaching a how, couple how they yeah. want to play. And you can make it totally your own. As a couple, you can decide how you want it. No, there is no set formula that you have to follow. It, you know, no, there's no. just rules that we've got to follow, but you can still make it totally your own. Um, and so I think, you know, I think it's really important that, you know, you're part of Sweet 15, so we need to tell everyone that. So if you want to do the Sweet 15 yes. wedding, then Stratton Court, you know, is there for you, yes. ready to go. Yes, <laughs> and so we want to we want to get some couples over to you having these um, micro weddings. And, you know, I think you're the absolutely perfect location. And when I set up Sweet 15, immediately you guys came to mind because I think your space is just so brilliant at being able yeah. to be utilised for that smaller wedding. But also uh, it's great for a bigger wedding. Um, don't get me wrong. But I just think you have that flexibility. 
Yeah, it really yeah. does. And, it, and like I said, because we've done the, the several now with this number and it does really work. You know, yeah. We tried and tested. Yeah. Absolutely spot on for the Sweet 15. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And all the tables and chairs are included. Is that right? All the tables and chairs are included. Yeah. Yes. Our tablecloths is obviously ready for the caterer, but again, that's something yeah. if you're going, definitely if you're going with the Sweet 15 package, obviously all of this is taken yeah. care of. Exactly. Uh, so, so, you know, we'll work together to make sure they get exactly what they want to have the day of their dreams. Um, and I think I'm very aware that you're so chilly there. So I'm just like, let's wrap this up now. Come on. Um, but I think, you know, I think it's really important that everyone understands that, you know, the importance of the flexible space, yeah. that somebody on hand that totally understands the rules, you know, and that, you know, between us, we would make sure that nothing went wrong. It's not going to be on the bride and groom's radar. It's just going to be, we'll make them aware of what's going to happen sometimes they can make a decision you know if they want yeah. to have bespoke masks for everybody they can have that, that you know yeah. like that's, that's whatever like they want they can make it happen that. <laughs> exactly yeah. like no, favors are totally like the amount of hand sanitizer favors that are out there now is yes, enormous <laughs> <laughs> um so uh, no no i think that's and I, particularly what's the beauty of the sweet 15 is of course it's like this is your once in a lifetime wedding yeah um where literally all you have to do is well pick up the phone to you reach out yeah. and there it is make Everything it happen yeah on a platter um, yeah as- but then I think, you know, also to not take away from the party, the sweaty side of the wedding, you know, <laughs> that the, the sequel is there, you know, and yeah. you've got the space to have a party for 150 people as and when they want to do that. And so they can book to then come back, you know, in a year or so and have mm-hmm. that sequel party where they really do get to enjoy it with all of their guests yes. in a big party environment, right? In a big party environment, indeed. <laughs> yeah, like old school weddings. <laughs> brilliant okay look i'm gonna let you go thank you so so much for your time so lovely to to be able to share a little bit more about what we're doing here and obviously about and talking more about micro weddings is really really nice um and yes if if anyone (laughs) yeah they get on their sweet 15 offer we are here we are ready you're ready to go go. yeah just tell people what your um how to get in touch if they want to get in touch with you directly Yes, so the best thing is to contact me via email, which is inquiries, with an E, at <laughs> strattoncourtbarn.co.uk. Or you can, of course, the easy option is just to DM me on Instagram, yeah. absolutely fine, or Facebook, um, and uh, or my mobile, which is on the website, and okay. you come straight through to me, so you're talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm you're a real person. I you're not just person. a virtual yes. person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's fabulous. And presumably viewings are going to be able to start again. Yeah. That's it. We're resuming viewings again. Um, All COVID safe, of course. Yeah. Um, But uh, we would ask that the couple, it's just the the, the couple couple. coming to see me, ideally. Um, And that every in tier two. But obviously, like you said, most of us are. Um, And then uh, we can absolutely do viewings again. Brilliant. Fabulous. That's what we like. Well, yes. thank you so much, Karen. Have a wonderful weekend. It's Friday. I feel, it's very early, but I feel like we should crack open the mulled wine. Absolutely. <laughs> that bar's ready and waiting. Go get him more. I've got the gin on the other side of the water. <laughs> Tick, job done for the day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Take care. Lots of love and look soon. after yourself. Bye-bye. Bye.